Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty Bee Plays Rope Universe Alice 4 where we have Bangle which is our ally to our ally and they border Googe now Googe is at war with somebody apparently it's a crusade against them why well, what religion are you? you're Sunni, that's not super abnormal for the region is it? No, nope, they're both Sunni. Or whatever. Oh. Bangle actually just declared on them. I was going to say, so then now that they're our neighbors, we can go check them out. But, never mind. They're at war with them now. Why is Delhi improving the Commonwealth's opinion? Yeah, it's just gain the autonomy, I guess it'll eventually do it down. Ever since we get that extra um, supply, it's been pretty okay around. Make sure our colonies are all set up, so. Yep, yep. Except, because I don't expect to have to do any work. The level 4 fort. Oh no, okay. Because I expect that Lithuania is just gonna steamroll them as they have, so. No worries. Nothing interesting going on for me, so I might as well just watch this, I figure. Just do that and then cancel it. I think, yeah, they got on the ship. I was going to say, like, where did Lithuania, or where did the troops go? Oh no, never mind, they're back here. For some reason or another. Taking an odd route to go there. They could just, like, walk through my land up. Well, I guess it would have been halfway as complicated anyways. Oh, it looks like, though, they're going to finish the war before Livonia even gets siege yet, weirdly enough. But I think they become rebels, oddly, if you actually disband the country. So they're still going to have those guys as rebels. Somebody's declared a war on Crimea. Well, that's like a player's luck there, getting all the way up to 70% and still not having it sieged it entirely. Oh, they're taking the fight right then. And that was fast. They're both at Tech 17, so I don't know why they slammed them so fast. Uh, I really don't want to take military tech really yet. Can get admin tech though, so that's pretty sweet. military tech level though I'm gonna have to watch no they sunk their navy I hope they're happy what's the other side of this war looking like like nothing like there's 11,000 yeah there's no like no troops on the other side and there's literally no boats Switzerland's pieced out so you're against Livonian Order and Mantua. So that's a thing. And you're sieging down Mantua. I should probably worry about what's going on over here a little bit more, but... So considering we got head to core something else, does that mean one of these finished, or...? Yeah, this one finished. Nicely done. We're doing a lot of colonization, actually. But you think about it, like we can we colonized this one recently. It gives us 0 0.64 ducats. So uh, in reality, that's giving us a lot more money. We have a straight up gold mine too somewhere. I'm actually gonna look for that for a second. 
trade good. There's a gold mine. Fine. Yep, zero favors because we did nothing. I'm fine with that. Okay, so as long as we keep this production under 10, we should be good. But if you don't know what I did, I spent a bunch of Diplo points. But it was so then we could increase the amount. We're absolutely spending a ton. There we go. Drop a few of those. We actually spent a ton. Oh wow, I found it on my first click. In order to make more money from gold every month. Oh, lovely. Another hit. We're actually not behind time necessarily, too, so that's fine. Because I want to stay ahead on dip on admin tech. Because once we get our next ID group, we can kind of tear through all these extra military points we've had. Oh wow, Bengals just totally expanded. Circassia. Nobody would join them. The Commonwealth would join against them. I don't actually plan on using the Commonwealth for much, so I'm going to do something different, which is I'm just going to spend uh, some of our stuff to give more trust. Commonwealth utterly trust Russia. Nice. That way they hate us less. Because if a country starts hating you, it hurts a lot. This one's almost done colonizing. That one's kind of there. Lawyers lose some influence. I hope that won't hurt us too much. I'm guessing we can do this mission considering... Oh boy, I forgot about that every time. Yeah, we should be able to do it. So I'm just going to hurry through that. Prestige. Okay then. Okay, so that one did, colony did finish. Nicely done. Hmm. gonna auto decline it and I'm probably gonna wait as long as I can why would I seek to protect them I don't feel like I want to protect them like I feel no attachment to them yep it auto declined How much more could you go? Still should be enough. Let's just speed this along though, I'll send you a gift. Close enough. Invest in military tech a little bit early. I'd say we wait a year or two, still. Although who has it around us? Ming has military tech 18? We're paying 20% extra, and Ming pays 60% extra, so they must just not know what to do with themselves. I guess I will take military tech then level 2, considering the fact that if they have it, I must have it. I missed who that upgraded, so I'm just going to go through the list until that flag goes away. Must have been cannons. Yeah, it was cannons. Kind of an important tech level coming up. But the cannons is pretty sweet. 
that a colony has just become self-sustaining. Weird. I paused it. Huh. It's really weird that it doesn't pop up there. Nope. Head over there. Again, a hunter population in this one. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Is there a center of trade here? Yeah, there must be. In trade map mode. Oh yeah, there it is. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Means a little bit extra money every month just by owning that. Yeah, that's not kind of unfortunate. Oh well, though. Don't really want to give anybody access right now, anyways. Hmm. Let's improve more relations with the Commonwealth. Make sure that we're topped off. Don't want our allies to be against us. The Ming is definitely going to be something to conquer. It is going to be somewhat of a pain. I'll send this guy in there a little bit later. Yark. Actually, that's probably going to solve our unrest problem too, right away. That's convenient. Yep. Didn't even think about that, I was just trying to get him closer to the border. Oh. So which one of these is gone? One of these Kozaks, maybe? Weren't on the list before. You're already owned by the clergy. You're owned by the clergy. Boyers. Their autonomy is at zero though. They're at 16, 40. Yeah, I'll sign you to the clergy. Hmm. Now this is a real war. And they're allied to Sweden. Uh, it's kind of sad. I'm sure I'll accept their, their access though, but... How tough is Sweden by chance? 58,000 troops? That's not so bad. And if I'm lucky, they'll just start heading for the, um, the Commonwealth. Because the Commonwealth are doing this by their own volition, I'll just tell you that much. I would not attack the Ottomans. Pretty much no matter who you are, you probably don't want to attack the Ottomans. Just as a rule of thumb. Oh, we have actually no leaders. So he kind of sucks. He's a lot better. I mean, we'll keep the other guy, I guess, but... I'll pass that one. Where is Akasu? Where is this province? Do that and just cancel the mission, I guess. My ports are blockaded. Oh well. I really hope they win this war. I mean, I'm guessing they will because they said they declared it. But you never know. So what are you hoping to get out of this anyways? Watch out, the game's going to lag when I open this a little bit. Um, you consider that you want the whole Ottoman Empire. Hmm. Okay, seems reasonable. What is this nation? Oh, France? That's weird. France very, very rarely conquers any of this. Oh, 
That's the Swedish army. I was going to say, like, what's going on when that's right over here? Swedish has a 6341 general. That is astonishing. And they got stacked. Wiped. So let's see. We have less. We have about equal troop limits, I'd say. This is where the real fun starts, so I guess. Is when the Ottomans have to take on. Or when the Commonwealth has to take directly on the Ottomans. <laughs> this is where, like, the real stuff starts. But we're winning. And by that I mean they're winning, because I could care almost less. Oh, huh. so that's why Karkanulu wanted access. How did they get to them then? Oh, you grant. See, you don't grant them access. If you grant them access, then their enemies have the access during war. Seems like something the AI doesn't seem to understand, really. But, you know, whatever. Sure. Upgrade that. Ooh. Exciting, we can actually do a Diplotech. We haven't done one of those in forever. Oh, that's an admin first. Then a Diplo. Free slot, let's go for aristocratic. Because if we do this, and it's 10% cheaper, that means our military tech is actually on par then with how much the. I'm trying to think what they call them. Europeans. Now that our Eastern. Western tech group. Because we pay 20% extra, and we pay 10% extra for our stuff through our national ideas. Do we have any inflation? Yeah, we have a little bit, but... Why are you gaining inflation? Oh, because we have a gold mine. That's right. You can answer your own question if you think hard enough about it, kinda. Just to make sure, none of you're all working, right? Okay, good. Because lazy colonist is something I have no time for. No conquest to cast a spell eye on the Ming, but doubt we'd be using that anytime soon. Which it is time to end the episode, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope that you guys have had a good time watching, and I have enjoyed commentating. Goodbye, and hope you enjoyed.